Hey guys, today I show you how you can create your own dissolve shader in Godot. I created a simple scene consisting of a camera, light, environment, floor and an object that we use for the dissolve shader. Select the box and choose a material override as a shader material. Go to shader, new shader and check if the type is visual shader because we're doing a visual shader here. You can choose build in shader if you want to, it's up to you and press create. So now go to visual shader and open it up and create a texture 2D parameter for the albedo and call it albedo as well. Then just put in the sampler 2D to the texture 2D and from there you can put it in the albedo output. So you have any texture you can choose from. It's up to you. Next we choose another uh, texture 2D for our noise texture where we choose just a fast noise a light texture and we pass this into alpha channel in order to see the effects right there. So next we choose the time, put it inside a sine function and remap the sine function because it's from minus 1 to 1 and we pass this into alpha scissor threshold in order to see the dissolving effect. So next we choose to create a speed parameter in order to manipulate the time and to make it faster or whatever you prefer. Make some space. Now we create the add operation in order to get an offset for the edge. We pass this inside the step and connect it with its red channel of the noise texture and put it inside the emission to get a lighting effect. Next we create the color and um, call it light color and choose any color you like and connect it with the mix function. Pass this inside the B channel so we get a mix from zero to our color and pass this in X depending on our time with an offset in order to see this border effect. And we can also change its color if we want to and it looks already like that. Now the light needs to shine more strongly, right? In order to get those dissolving effects we want. Last point, we have to create another parameter, a float parameter, call it strength and give it like any number. And then we pass in those values into a vector compose in order to mix it with a vector operation where you pass in the step output and pass this inside the emission instead so you get like more brightness to the light and you get more glow. Of course you can change every parameter to your certain needs and make it more brighter whatever you prefer. I hope that helps you and if you have still any questions left feel free to ask me. Anyway thanks for watching please like the video subscribe and share the video see you next time bye